Oh hi, thanks for watching my video. So, feeling a bit lazy today. Didn't really fancy doing a storyline today, instead we're doing a little bit of an experiment. So I plucked an idea out of my ass, and this is what we've come up with. I have three identical sims and three other identical sims. And the big question we're answering today is what happens when three triplets, or a set of triplets, whatever you call them, three triplets? If three triplets have a baby with three other triplets, does that mean that their babies, when they age up, will be identical? I don't know. You don't know. None of us know. That's what the experiment of today is all about. So I have three sims who can get pregnant. We've got Casey, Carrie, and Katie. Completely identical, basically clones. They even dress themselves. And then sims that can get others pregnant. We've got Bryce, Bruce, and finally Brian. So let's put this to the test. Oh, look, they're all waving at each other. Bless them. Oh, it's Christmas. Not today, it isn't. Sorry, guys. Oh shit, I shouldn't have done that actually. Now they're all sad. They're all going to bed to cry. <laughs> They've definitely lost their libido now. Oh, Carla, that was a terrible decision. Why didn't you wait until they gave birth? They've got this communal area where they can watch a bit of TV, have a bit of food, the bathroom for every time they need a bath or take a shit. I'm pretty sure we all know how a bathroom works. And three bedrooms. So who we got here? Casey. Let's start with Casey and Brian. Come on, Casey, we've got to go in for our first kiss with Brian. Oh, there was already a guy in bed there. I could have just taken him. Hey there, Brian. You're the hottest guy in here. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Now, before we start making our baby, you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to take these lights away, because try and improve the ambience around here. Make it a little bit more sexy. Maybe a red hot romantic candle. Oh, yeah, I should probably adjust her fertility as well. When you have the relationship and pregnancy overhaul, it sets the fertility at really low, so sims are less likely to be successful when trying for a baby. So you usually have to go in and modify it, so that's what I'm going to do. And now, we're going to go ahead and try for a pregnancy with Brian. Get things all sexy around here. I can't actually see who is disapproving of her or her, because they're identical. Let's get you in the mood, guys. Maybe you could do a little bit of role play. Casey, maybe you could be a police officer. And Brian, perhaps you could be a... Reoccurring criminal who can't seem to learn his lesson. Oh, I did. I went through all that trouble of giving you that romantic candle. You ended up using the most clinical room in the house. Oh, Brian and Casey. Well, that's our first couple. No protection was used. All right, Casey, let's get that pregnancy test, girl. Get it on, girl. Oh, I should have reinstalled my realistic pregnancy mod so I could get the realistic pregnancy test. Oh, well. Are we pregnant? Are we pregnant? Yes, we are. Congratulations, everyone. Okay, she's pregnant with a girl. I'm gonna... I'm gonna make it so that all of their babies are the same gender. Just so we can see clearly whether they're identical or not. Okay, Carrie. Carrie, you're next. Who we got here? How about Bryce? We should go in for our first kiss. Bryce, it's our first kiss. It's... I mean, you can at least stand up for it. Oh, Bryce. Of all the people in this house, my eyes went straight to you. There's just something about you, Bryce. Come here. Lovely. All right, guys. You know the drill. Try for pregnancy. Maybe uh, get in the mood, do a little bit of role play. Bryce, maybe you could be a hunky doctor. And Carrie, maybe you could be a patient suffering from a nasty infection. Oh, I thought that would get you guys in the mood. Wait, hang on. She looks pregnant. Is Carrie... Wait, I am so confused. Is Carrie pregnant? No, Carrie is not the one that is pregnant. You know, I've had this happen before when I've had sims that look identical. One of them gets pregnant and it makes the others look pregnant. Because you can see Carrie has a bump there. But if we have a look at, okay, Casey, Casey is pregnant. But then if you look at the other clone, Katie, she has no bump whatsoever. <gasps> How weird. It's like we've made a crack in the matrix. All right, Carrie, you know the drill. Why are we trying for a baby? Oh, I'm guessing this sim doesn't want to have a baby. Does not want a child right now. Oh, sorry, Carrie. Okay, she's already pregnant with a girl. Okay, perfect. Okay, so who do we have left? The one that's not in pajamas, Kate. And then which, which man is not in his pants? Oh, the one that just got finished crying. Okay, Bruce. Okay, well, you two, the final couple, I think you should go in for just a little kiss. Really set the mood. 
Try not to sleep in the same bed that your siblings have just been in. Oh, then we'll take things even more yeah. romantic and we'll try for a baby. Go for a little bit of role play, Kate. You could pretend Bruce is Professor Snape and he's just caught you in the restricted section. But then, in a shocking twist, you allow him into your restricted section. Okay, now I'm thinking I have six sims in this household. There's going to end up being nine, which is fine. I've got MC Command Center involved. So I can have nine in my household. However, if I go into create a sim, it's going to delete someone. So I might just make it so that... Who was the first one to get pregnant? Casey? I'm just going to put Casey in labor. And then once she has her baby, I'm going to evict the first couple. And then the other two couples can look after the three babies. And that way I can go into create a sim and take a look at these kids. All right, Katie, you, you guys had the clinical room, didn't you? Oh, I know you're hungry, but this baby's got to be born. Come on, Kate, don't make a meal of it. Oh, no, that's not Kate, that's Casey. Sorry, guys, I'm really screwing up your names here. Um, but Katie, you can go and take a pregnancy test. Oh, we had a baby girl, what a surprise. We'll call her Millie. Oh, Kate's pregnant. She also didn't want a baby. Was that something you all carried on as well? Do you all share the same trait regarding pregnancy? Right, let's split this family up. So which one was the one that had the baby? Casey had the baby, okay. <laughs> the state of this family. Okay, Casey, I don't remember her baby daddy though. I mean, it doesn't really matter, does it? I want to say it was Bryce, but I mean, who gives a shit? The rest of them will take care of the baby, it's fine. Okay, Carrie, let's get you in labor, girl. Carrie, you can have the red boudoir. And then Kate, you're meant to be only just showing, but it looks like you're copying the other one. Maybe someone could age up Millie, perhaps? I want to see them as adults. Oh, another baby girl. Little Tilly. Okay, Millie's aging up. And then Kate, you can go and have your baby in the other room. Oh, Millie's a redhead. Takes after her father. Okay, let's go age up little Tilly. Genuinely so curious to see what they look like. And then the final baby, Lele. Tilly can be sunny. Let's take a look at Tilly. Oh, Tilly's got different colour hair. She's taken after her mother. Interesting, interesting. Let's go and age up Lily. First time giving birth, she's feeling dazed. Nauseous. I really don't like the sound of these new baby cries. I, may, I feel like I make this comment every time I play with a baby, but it's just not a pleasant sound. And I get they're going for realism here, but... I don't actually want the experience of raising a child that cries for no reason. Oh, one that takes after the dad. Okay, I'll pop in my testing cheats true. Cast full edit mode. Let's take a look at these babies all grown up. I feel like it would be difficult That's to tell at first now. because they'll age up with randomly generated accessories and stuff. But if I age them up and then dress them all the same. Oh, this one has a skin layer over it. Okay, this is Millie. All right, cool. Tilly looks like there's something going wrong with her hair. Young adult. Tilly looks completely different. But their parents are identical, so these two sims could be twins. Or they could be sisters at least, and they look nothing like each other. Alright, what about Lily? I think Lily's gonna look like the first one. No, nothing like each other. Okay, let's get them dressed in the same clothing, stand them side by side, and then see what we think. So here are our three trips our three babies, they don't even look like sisters, let alone triplets. I'm trying to get them all to pull the same sort of face. They look nothing alike. Even the ones with like the similar hair color look nothing alike. They have different frames. I suppose these two have a similar frame. They don't even look related. Well, I suppose that answers the question, what happens if triplets have a baby with, an another, with another set of triplets? Will the babies look identical? No, they'll look nothing like each other. I don't think I've even had like a couple of sims have three children that look as different as these three sims do. It's interesting. But on that note, I'm going to end this video here. Was it a pointless video? Yeah, but I already said, I'm feeling lazy today. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and subscribe. You know I love it when you do that. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.